Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Connect Agency. Arkady is here, and we will be talking today with Centennial College. I have Jasmine on the line. Jasmine, hello. Arkady, it's always nice to see you and spend some time with you. So I, I look forward to sharing more news about Centennial with your audience. Well, thank you very much, Jasmine. I hope we can talk today uh, about your programs, about the campus. I, like, I, I need to tell students that I have been working I have been working with Centennial for so many years. It's one definitely of my priority colleges and priority destinations for my students in Canada, uh, because there are so many things. There are, it, it's been always changing. There are always great programs for the stu students, amazing location. I love the people working there and I'm so happy to introduce Jasmine to uh, the students watching us. Uh, so please introduce yourself, introduce the school and feel free to, uh, um, tell anything you want to our potential students. Thank you, Arkady, very much. Indeed, Centennial is one of the leading Canadian institutions in the post-secondary field in Canada and internationally. And I'm very grateful to be working for one of the best institutions in Ontario. Um, my role is the sub-regional manager for Eastern Europe, uh, CIS region and the Middle East. I love the industry and I had many hats and many roles I had over the last 20 something years from teaching to consulting to recruitment and maybe something to share with your audience. I too was an international student from Eastern Europe and uh, have stories to share as an immigrant uh, and a newcomer in Canada. Well, that's great. Uh, that's really, I just want, I, sorry, I will be interrupting you. I just want to say a few things because many um, of our students watching us uh, interested to come in coming to Canada, not just to study, but to experience the North American lifestyle, to experience, to get some work experience as well. And that's why Centennial College, I think it's it's a great place for them because you can offer all of this in one place. And um, what I want to tell the students, we, there are so many uh, opportunities of getting work experience. It's the, um, uh, the location is great. So it's uh, in the greater Toronto area, but it's not right downtown. So you can have you can travel to other places in Ontario, other uh, hubs like uh, technical engineering hubs in Ontario, business hubs in Ontario from Centennial College. And it's great to uh, know that uh, you and I, we are, we, both, we, we are both immigrants in Canada. So we know what it is. We know how important it is to be in the right place to start your journey from the right, uh, from the right point. And also I want to tell, to everybody who is interested in Centennial College in studying in Canada, there will be a link in the description of this video where you can leave your information and you can get more details. You can get in contact with us by just filling out a very small questionnaire and we will get back to you with all the information about studying in Canada. Okay, so I'm not interrupting anymore. Yeah, That's fantastic. Thank you very much, Arkady. It's uh, always a pleasure to work with you. So to those of you watching this video now, or perhaps at some other time, I'd like to share a story about Centennial College. So the welcoming page, our branding is gold and black. So they, those that attend our education fairs, they know us by our branding. And of course, we are the Ontario's first publicly funded institution as a community college, 1966, when uh, we were founded. Uh, I don't know why I can move. Okay, so yep. the second slide, just to let you know, in Canada, as you know, the very first inhabitants of Canada were Aboriginal people. So we are on Aboriginal land, which is the Mississauga of the First Nation people. And we work very closely with Indigenous people in Canada and one of the leaders in that field. Our new brand is Get Ready to Thrive, and I can see uh, it being more timely because everything we do at Centennial is linked to prepare you for the labor market as well as the employability in Canada and around the world. Uh, 
we, we might have no sound in the recording. No so sound on the recording? So this brief yeah. video actually show how Akari, you cannot hear? Very little. I'm going to skip over it. So the video actually... Sometimes Zoom doesn't like the videos. I don't know why. Yeah, the uh, external videos. Yeah. Very good. Um, I'm just going to reposition again. Uh, the videos that we have are fantastic. So I urge you to go to our YouTube as well as our website because under each program, you will find several videos. The reason why Centennial is one of the leading institutions, it's linked to our performance outcomes. So, you know, in Canada, every institution is looking at key performance indicators and they're linked to the student satisfaction as well as more importantly to employer satisfaction. So we track the performance of our graduates and we track the satisfaction of employers and we know exactly how many students are employed and what their starting salary is, depending on the program they complete. In addition, we are well known for partnering with industry and local organizations in any field. So over the years, we have a repertoire of 1,500 close partners that we work with, and very often they employ our students at the end. We are very proud to be ranked number one in Canada for employability and number four globally uh, for employability in terms of synergy of our programs with the labor, labor markets. Mm -hmm. uh, Centennial has a lot of students. A lot means almost 13,000 international students from 139 countries around the world. And they, uh, you can see them on this particular map. Uh, recently, in fall of this year, which is our busiest intake, you will see that we actually have almost 12,500 students recruited from many countries, and our top markets are from India all the way to Mexico. One thing to keep in mind is that we are most culturally diverse, and we're actually targeting our markets to be 70% other than India, and India will be currently at 40%, will go down to 30% because we wanna make sure that it's authentic experience for everybody, including students from India. Yeah, well, that's great diversity. I just want to mention to uh, uh, to the students that uh, guys, you, you might think that 40% is a lot, but honestly speaking, some colleges have more students from India. It, it is great because students from India are great. They are hardworking. They are very nice classmates. But because the country is so big and they are coming to Canada a lot, you might want to look to the to the to the colleges with greater diversity. And this centennial, what what you just show, what you have just shown us is great. Like the diversity is amazing. So that, I think it's really great experience for everybody, as you mentioned, like from internet for international students, for Canadian students. So it, it is it is a very nice setting. Very nice setting. Yeah, thank you very much, Arkady, for, for jumping in. Because, you know, in Canada, everything is first come, first serve. So there is equity in terms of admission processes. So when you have such a large country with billions of people, if you're looking at India and China, they're, of course, demographically, you know, the quickest. So I encourage your audience, if you're from Eastern Europe like we are, or from the Central Asian countries, or even Middle East, please book early, you know, look at admission early because Centennial is one of those institutions that fills very quickly. So we're already closed for May of this year and we're recruiting for fall the 23. So indeed, what we want to do is continue to be a leader and actually get even bigger cultural diversity than we had thus far. We have 11 international offices around the world, and currently we're opening another one in Mauritius that will service actually African students. So we are placed from Mexico to Panama, to the Philippines, and one of the first in India, and this is one of the reasons we have such a large follow-up, but we also have offices in South Korea, Vietnam, and China. 
We have five campuses, as you mentioned, they're all in the greater Toronto area, and some of them are in slightly less expensive areas of Toronto, such as Scarborough, which is excellent for students. Whether you're coming to the Progress, our key campus, our smallest one, Story Arts Centre, I can assure you that the quality of the facilities and teaching is at its prime. One of the advantages of living in Toronto, that is economic hub of Canada, is that the transportation is great. So our campuses uh, that are in yellow dots, uh, the Progress, which is uh, one of the top one, and the Morningside, very close in the Scarborough area, they're all well connected by subway and by Go Transit, which is the bus lines, as well as the local cross town LRT. So very easy to commute. These are some of the pictures of our campuses, and they are state of the arts, including the newest one to the very bottom, Bombardier Center for Aerospace, Aerospace and Aviation, which I'm just showcasing right now. Um, what I wanted to share with your students is that Centennial is one of the leaders in applied education. So the classrooms are not your typical, you know, four wall classrooms, but in this space, in this particular context, it's actually the whole airport is your classroom. So and here we're featuring some of the program options that are in key labor demand, aerospace manufacturing, engineering technology and aircraft maintenance, not only in Canada, but all over the world. So this is the picture of the newest business jet that was donated by the Bombardier because we're right in the Bombardier Industrial Park. So some of these careers starting at $80,000 per year as a technician might be uh, something to consider if you are international students. And keep in mind that the intakes are mainly fall and January. So we're very proud of this uh, and envy of many uh, institutions around the world. So there's a few more pictures in there. One of the reasons that Centennial is a good option for you because you're guaranteed good co-ops that are always paid or internships that are sometimes not paid, but more importantly, you get references, job references and Canadian experience in many of the largest companies such as Air Canada that will need 867 pilots next year to uh, City of Toronto, if it comes to community programs, Google and IT programs that are in our backyard, Procter & Gamble, et cetera. Why choose Canada? Arcadi is the, um, I would say, ambassador for Canadian education. So you already know a lot about it. But what I can tell you from traveling around the world is that we are one of the most stable economies on the earth right now, and that we are safe with a very solid banking system and still one of the highest quality of life in the world and the best immigration policy. Uh, Toronto has many jobs. There's over 1 million jobs across Canada, but Toronto is the hub. And again, there's about almost 200,000 new people coming into uh, Toronto area every year. So there are reasons behind why so many of them choose Ontario and choose Canada. This actually is the Safe Index City 2021 that shows overall score of Toronto as number two behind Copenhagen. And this is looking at not only the personalized safety, but it's looking at environmental infrastructure and digital security that is so important for business growth. One of the uh, reasons uh, that we are keen to be leaders is because we like data and we always like to know what's happening in the labor market. So it's not a secret that we have many employers looking to fill the jobs and working with an institution like Centennial, they're guaranteed young, uh, smart and hardworking individuals that are keen. So the growth of the talent shortages are at a 15 year high. And in some actually sectors, not only in Canada, but around the world. So you have to think about possibility of staying in Canada, but also possibility of looking for jobs in other global markets. The top five in demand are operations and logistics, superbly popular programs at Centennial, manufacturing and production. Sales is very much a need in all industries. IT, and administration and office support. <clears throat> the 
the talent shortages are growing around the world. And so this particular manpower group in 2020, they're looking at the countries um, that have the most difficulty in finding skills they need. And you will see that some of them are actually in Eastern Europe. And some of them are even in United States and Africa. So in terms of global employability and ability to work online or hybrid, there are many more opportunities that a lot of times students are not thinking about, but getting into our courses and understanding actually how global competitiveness works, it gives them new hope for employment outside and inside of Canada as well. <laughs> Katie, I'm, I have a little bit of a cold, so I apologize for that. No, no worries. Centennial has 200 full-time programs in seven academic schools, five campuses for international students. And we have 400 programs for Canadians. Mm. So the seven schools are listed here. So we go anywhere from business to IT to engineering. And we certainly cover a lot of engineering to tourism, hospitality, culinary arts, the largest transportation school in Canada, and something called School of Advancement for those of us that maybe need additional prerequisite foundation training or English training or maybe prerequisite courses in math and sciences, we have that as well to prepare you for academic program. We have a very strong business program and uh, some of the uh, areas, if I can put it that way, academic areas are listed here. I'm going to leave it to the audience to take a look at because we have limited time. We have community health studies at the Morningside campus. This particular programs are smaller in scope for international students, but under each category, there is a couple of programs such as emergency services, uh, community and child services, ECE, and those type of things are part of that category. One of the smallest campuses under the auspice of Centennial is Story Arts Campus, but very vibrant with programs in communications, media arts and design, and many postgraduate programs of interest to a lot of students. Here you see a student in the music program, and these programs require portfolio and often sessions with our program admission coordinators. They want to gauge whether you might be a good candidate for this program, because often we have limited capacity. The programs involve Canadian students and international students, and we want to ensure it's a good experience for both. The graduate certificate programs, and I wouldn't call them certificate, I call them experiential master's programs, are for those of us that already have bachelor degrees, so minimum of three years, plus IELTS at 6.5 will guarantee you a spot in those experiential master's programs with one year work experience. They are fantastic. And the candidates we have that are taking them, they're very confident that they're getting the skills they need. And often they feel they could be taught over two years because there's an awful lot of materials covered. Yeah. More arts and design programs. Again, take a, take a look at our website. Our website has description of the programs, courses taken, and a little bit additional information in terms of uh, employability. Engineering technology and applied science is one of my favorite areas. Everything from biology, medical studies, into information technology and applied renewable technologies. Our School of Engineering Technology and Applied Sciences, it's very vibrant. It's over 6,000 students. Uh, we have a lot of full-time and part-time programs. A lot of our programs have additional professional certification, which is something that you don't have to pay, and it's already included into our program fee. And we pride ourselves on excellent capstone projects that are often evaluated by industry advisory committees. And so our students have done great work, and I think I have a couple of slides to showcase that afterwards. The departmental structure is according to the discipline specialization. So everything from biology, environmental sciences in one area, IT and engineering technology, another area, advanced manufacturing and automation focused on automation robotics, and then sustainable design and renewable energy. Many of our profs actually have PhDs and they are active in research. 
And this actually shows you uh, one of the capstone projects being evaluated by industry partners. So we are very keen that everything we do is integrated into business community in Canada and internationally. I only have one slide about our hospitality, tourism, and culinary arts. I can tell you we have one of the best event management programs in the world or in Canada. We have event management center, we have our own restaurants, and we have faculty right now that will be doing teaching around the world as well because we do some corporate training. The transportation, everything from avionics to automotive to heavy duty and truck and coach. Construction is booming in Canada and heavy equipment uh, people are in demand as well as trades that are heavily, that are very well paid, I would say from 70, 80,000 upwards. And we also have general arts and sciences. I mentioned foundation program pre-health for those of you that maybe need additional reinforcement with your language skills, it would be an excellent program especially for Europeans, because the foundation program would serve you better than the English language program. We have two degree programs. They're very unique. They're one of a kind in Canada. Um, the Honors Bachelor of Public Relations Management is an excellent program with 14 week industry field placement. The cost is around 22, 23,000 per year. And I can tell you, the reason why you might want to consider this is there are many government jobs coming out because people are retiring and there's going to be demand in that area, public relations management. The other one is computer and communication networks, only degree of its kind in Ontario. Again, if you take a look at a curriculum, uh, everything is hands-on and authentically put together to actually get you ready for the job either in small or large industry. We have about 10 more minutes, so I will speed up. The graduate certificate programs, I mentioned to you at first, you know, this presentation, there's a lot of information. So Cardi can share more how all this works after the presentation. There are reasons why you may want to consider not only one program, but a bundle of two because it leads towards employability, success, as well as two-year work permit instead of one year. So something, inquire about that. Ask Arkadi how you can consider one or two of our 61 master degree pathways. One thing that you also may want to consider is the fast track programs. They're basically in the engineering program the programs, and if you have a bachelor and maybe you've done bachelor, not right away, maybe a few years back, we will give you a credit for one year. You will still get a three-year advanced diploma, which equals bachelor program in Europe, which is great for your immigration points, but you will just need to complete two-year program often with paid co-ops. And it's a fantastic way to, uh, again, get the labor market skills because all our programs are fully experiential in nature. If you finish our programs, and many people that come to Canada as international students cannot afford universities, but they would love to go, I would say get the best of the two worlds. Get experiential, apply diploma or degree program. It will get you a job easily transferable to universities in Canada or around the world. And of course, if the funding is the issue, diploma and degree program at college level are very effective in terms of costs. And then when you become Canadian, you can continue and do your university, maybe master's or PhD as well. This picture here shows a highway that we like to say it's kind of a lifelong highway in Canada because you can deviate, get work permit, work for a few years, go back to school, do online, do part-time, many, many different opportunities to upgrade your education, even the continuing education level course by course. And both Arkadi and I are lifelong learners. Yeah. I would mention also that, uh, guys, the uh, brand of Centennial College is very well known all over Canada. So if you start your 
way if you start your pathway in Canada with Centennial College. As Jasmine mentioned, transferring into other institutions is most likely not going to be a problem if you want to finish later a higher level of education. So you don't have to do the whole bachelor degree at once. You can do a two-year diploma or you can start with a graduate certificate and then you can consider other, uh, other schools, other education. For me personally, I came to Canada around, uh, I don't know, it's been like 17 years in total when since I came first to Canada, since I first came to Canada and I did my certificate here. I did my master's degree little by little, little by little. I was just developing and I, I, I keep learning as well. I just had classes uh, before this webinar, just uh, uh, one hour before this webinar, and I'm still learning. And uh, this is very common in Canada. You don't have to do the whole thing right away. You don't have to do everything like, let's say, after high school or after university, little by little, smaller investments, but bigger goals and bigger achievements. So uh, just um, use the opportunity. It's very, uh, everything in Canada is very well thought and very can be very well planned if you start your journey with the college. Absolutely. Right. Great, great comment, Arkady. I appreciate you jumping in. And, and this slide is actually a good follow up because like Arkady say, we are connected to many institutions and any institution that you apply to, they will recognize us. But in addition, we have something called a very smooth transition to some institutions with joint programs. So uh, Toronto Metropolitan University, University of Toronto in some area, Nipissing University, which is in Northern Ontario, if the cost is the issue, York University, and also some international universities. So this one shows the Universitat de Navarra in Spain. Um, again, a few examples of other programs like hotel operations linked to BC and Switzerland, um, three-year advanced in technology with McMaster's, uh, so all great university trend uh, that range in cost and also focus. Definitely, we have the tools to succeed. One of the reasons why we excel is because we have extended uh, support services for students. We have four, maybe five right now, immigration consultants that take care of you while you're on campus, not prior to coming to us, but while you're on campus everything from health insurance to orientation sessions to many career sessions and workshops while you are at Centennial to get involved in different capacities. One of those programs is Head Start Orientation Program run over a week that is looking into personal affairs, looking into academic as well as social involvement in at Centennial as well as in the large community of a GTA area. Uh, again, many videos that are supported. And again, uh, there's a lot of things in terms of sports happening at Centennial. So this shows you just some of the um, extracurricular recreational activities we have. Um, this is a picture of our residents. And at the bottom of this building, there is a local restaurant that's run by our faculty and students, and it's open to the public. And on the very top of the building, it's the event management center. Some of the pictures of our residents that looks like a four-star hotel, if you ask me. Uh, lovely inside with many recreational facilities as well. In addition, many of you are already aware that Canada has um, the best immigration policy in the world and that allows you to work as a student. So up to this year, you are only allowed 20 hours per week, but in order to make education more affordable to a lot of our students, uh, the government has decided to extend that and there is currently no limit on how many hours you can work. We hope that the students will balance their academic demands with the work demands as well, and that will not affect their academic performance. Um, so indeed, if you're a student and you're in a co-op program, you're paid for your co-op, which is part of your working or learning environment. After your program, you can still work um, unlimited number of hours right now. And upon graduation, you are given either one or three year postgraduate work permit that allows you to work all across Canada. 
The tuition ranges uh, from diploma, uh, two-year programs around 17,348. That includes all the incidental. This is Canadian dollars, guys. This Canadian is all in Canadian numbers. dollars, yeah. <laughs> the engineering programs, because they have lab and a lot of technology and software, which is all included at around 18,359 and degree about 21.5 Canadian for eight months or two semesters. Some of the programs run three times a year, some of them only once or twice per year. Please check our website. I also need to mention, guys, because some of you are just watching watching it for the first time and you might not be aware about the tuition fees in Canada. So first of all, everything is in Canadian dollars, which makes it more affordable compared to euros or to US dollars. And secondly, I would mention that this is around average in Canada. So this is not the highest. This is not this is not the most expensive. I would say the most expensive progress in Canada would be over a hundred thousand Canadian dollars a year. And this is not the cheapest because you're really getting the best quality possible in the in, in the uh, college education. You you are like for this money you're getting so much that it to it is to totally worth it uh, because you as Jasmine mentioned some uh, salaries uh, of the graduates, they can be up to 80,000 Canadian dollars per year, right? So after studying of two years in Canada, this might be the best investment in your life. No no bank can give you 200% uh, in just within two years, right? So talking about the fees, just consider that this is around average in Canada. And this is not too high. This is not too low. Absolutely. Actually. Very reasonable. So. <laughs> yeah, one thing I should mention, you know, for, for you, because you're wondering if you go to our website and you show Canadian fees and international fees, the, the college education, and it's actually not designed to make money. You know, people say, how come yeah. they're making so much money in international students? The reason your fees are whatever, it's 17,000 and Canadians at 5,000 is because we have very high taxes in Canada that, you know, go towards education and health. So in other words, we subsidize education from taxation. Yeah. So our cost would be exactly the same as what you're paying. The job of community colleges is to bring students to industries and to ensure that you know, our employers from small to large have the best possible talent. In order to ensure if this is the best investment for you, because I, I'm of the opinion, particularly in these geopolitically difficult times, that investing in yourself is the best investment. Yeah, well, th th thanks a lot. Let's uh, stop here. If there will be additional questions, I encourage everybody, first of all, to use the comment section below this video. Secondly, there will be a link. You can just click and send your inquiry. If you are interested in studying in Canada, I will be able to provide you with more information. I know Centennial College very well. I know the um, educational system in Ontario and across Canada very well as well. Uh, and I've worked in the industry for over 20 years now. And then uh, we will start from there. I would welcome everybody to send the inquiry and uh, start the application process because there is so much to explore and so much to experience with, in Canada and with Centennial College. Right, Arkady, I would like to maybe just leave you with a couple of uh, points. Uh, there's sure. no application fee and or deferral fee at Centennial College. We can evaluate your credentials uh, free of charge for three programs. So this is important to know. If uh, your study permit is denied, we uh, provide refunds. We only keep $200. And we certainly don't have a lack of students, but we are looking for more diversity. Our professors love students from the CIS region and Eastern Europe. So I would encourage you to consider us early, not to be disappointed. And also, if there are any additional information required, we're always happy to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. And uh, we'll be in touch. Thank you. Thanks, Arkady. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.